No maintenance decking. Build a deck. All right, so let's take a look at the Trex rails. This particular one is the one that we sell the most of. This is the vintage lantern, crown top rail, the black and aluminum balusters, white posts, you get optional lights on it. This rail here is the standard square composite baluster rail by Trex. If it had the crown top like this, you could buy it in a kit, a white kit. We don't sell a whole lot of them because Trex has what I like to call design flexibility. And for more than 10 years, we've been had the option of selling a deck with the flat or the drink rail. Half of the rail packages that leave no maintenance decks are with the drink rail. So how is that configured? So on the bottom here, we have the standard universal top and bottom rail. You bring it up to the top, turn it over, you can affix the 2x4 on top or a piece of decking to go over the top of the posts. Then you use the infill kits. This is what makes the whole rail as flexible as it is. Someone at Trex had the forward thinking, could see the future, that not all rails were going to have square composite balusters. You just change the infill. You don't have to have as many skews. So you can, this one, is for the round aluminum baluster. It comes in the square aluminum baluster, and this one, of course, is the square composite baluster. You can find all these ideas and all these on many, many pictures in the Trex railing guide. All right, let's take a look at select rail. Now we're gonna take a look at the Trex select rails. For many, many years, we've always sold a white PVC rail which has always been considered to be the least expensive rail that you can get. But the cost of these of PVC has been going up at a greater rate than the cost of these composites. So now we can offer a Trex composite rail, which is always known to be a much higher quality than any PVC rail, for less money. So this one here is the Trex Select Rail. What makes this different from the Transcend Rail is we have a little bit of hardware underneath. If you don't want any hardware showing, then you can go with the Transcend Rail. But I don't think it looks too bad, and it's a significant price savings to go with the, the Select Rail. This is how it's set up right out of the box. It has a rectangular top and bottom rail, the black round balusters. It's set up using the standard Transcend sleeve cap and skirt. This one here is featured with the lights on it. You can always put the 2x4 on top or run the decking all the way over. Great rail, great price. Let's take a look at the Trex signature rails now. Now we're going to take a look at the signature rails. Now this is where I feel the railing industry is going. People are always asking, I would like to have a less bulky rail, but I want it very strong. Now, the way that it's made is that you don't put the sleeve, like we have with the composite rail, you put the sleeve over the post. That has to hold a certain amount of strength. And for some reason, the aluminum rails, which are affixed to the top or through the, into the frame, through the decking into the frame, needs to have a higher strength rating on it. So this one really is strong. This, this aluminum rail, this one is pictured with the square aluminum balusters. That's how it comes. This one is in the bronze color. This is the one that we sell the most of in the black color. Again, people are always going to be asking, I'd like to put a drink rail on this. Can you do that with the Trex Signature Rail? Of course we can. We have this little part here that slides up underneath. Goes like that, and you can affix a 2x4 on top or a piece of decking, or what we have over here is we made a little tabletop using these parts and it holds it on there beautifully. You can see all of these inside the Trex railing guide, which again has all sorts of ideas and gives you all the information you're ever gonna to wanna to know about the Trex signature rails. Let's come around back over here. We're gonna look at what we have more for the signature rails. We saw the black and the, the bronze signature rail. This one here is the white signature rail. This one's my favorite. It's the white signature rail, the white wedge light, the cap light. So then people are always asking about different pieces of hardware. So someone at Trex came up with this hardware tree. If you wanted to have something a little bit different, say for instance, if you have odd angles, Usually, if we have a 45-degree angle kits for the 
the, uh, the, the horizontal rails. And you'd, if you're on your regular stair rails, you would have the standard rail hardware for a stair. It's going to be within a certain rise and run. But, of course, a lot of people want something a little different. So if you have, this one is the compound swivel stair rail. So you can go left to right, up and down. Say, for instance, if you have an odd angle on your stairs and you want to have a deeper tread width, sometimes you could put three and four pieces of decking on your tread, then you would need something like this. And if you didn't have the odd angle and you wanted to go and have a, an odd or a different rise and run on your stair, and if you were directly 90 degrees from your deck, you would just, you could use a swivel bracket or a swivel stair bracket. Again, my friends at Trex think of all the little different angles. People at Trex, they always like to know that we, you have all the bases covered. So say, Trex said, well, we have this, let's, let's put out a rail that's a little bit nicer, a little bit more interesting. So they have their rod rail. It's a horizontal rod. Of course, it's very strong. We sell quite a bit of it. We stock it here at No Maintenance Decks. This is in the black, black with the black. You can get the black with the platinum. Just looks a little bit differently. None of the distributors stock it. We could get it directly from Trex in Virginia. Of course, we always know that people are always going to want to put the drink rail on the top. And like we saw earlier, we can put the drink rail. This is one pictured with the piece of decking on the top. Of course, it has the little clip here. But notice it doesn't have the aluminum posts. Sometimes you'll have posts sticking up, and you can use the composite post. It has a great look. The composite post, the aluminum rail, of course, the drink rail, always a winner. Oftentimes, people are going to want to have gates on their deck. So Trex has a gate kit for the signature rail. Now, we will make custom gates for the transcend rail, and they'll match exactly to the rest of your deck. But this rail doesn't take as, it's easier to put together, so it's going to cost a little bit less. This is how it comes. It'll come in a four-foot section of rail, and it will have the side pieces, the hinges, and the latch. A great alternative costs a little bit less. more what you can do with it, you can get the glass rail with it. Of course, we have the glass infill kits for the transcend rail, but we have the glass infill kits for the signature rail. Remember, they only come in six foot length maximum. Love it. I like it in the white, of course. Then, it, then something, so many people want something just a little bit different. And this is definitely different the square, I guess they call it the hog rail, who knows, but it's, this is stainless steel, so expect this one to be a little bit more expensive than this standard rod rail. That's it for Trek Signature.